Hawthorne Mountain, boys, right there. That's where we hunt. again we're actually in our cabin we actually got the electric situation figured out i don't know if we even told them about that but I don't think we, did. we got that situated got some lights up here we're going to be doing some more scouting we're going to put the cameras out today and actually have the batteries so we can actually put them up and uh before we do that though we're going to be putting out this trophy rock and uh been hearing a lot of good things about it so we're going to put it to the test we've tried lots of stuff over the years and Honestly, we haven't found anything that works. Corn would be basically it. We have tried some of the wild game innovation products like the Green and Rage and uh, some of all that good stuff. And it works, but for the same price, you get a 50 pound bag of corn and have a lot more. Right. So, I mean, and honestly, it doesn't work no better than a pile of corn. So, for the same price, you're better off going and getting a 50 pound bag of corn. Well, it's nine bucks here. I don't know about where you all are, but. Here it's cheaper it's just to get a bag of corn, but you want to say anything about it? Yeah, this is a different brand than normal trophy rocks. It's called a, a rack rock made by people who make deer cane. Um, it's still supposed to be pretty. I mean, it's just mostly sawed, I think. But I mean, and it's a little late. We should have put these out earlier. This is what it looks like up close. It has a plastic on it. But I mean, they'll still get them coming to it. And what we mainly want to use this for is just to get them to stop. You know, for picture wise, I mean, the deer walk them on a trail. If you get a lot more pictures, they're going to stop and, and lick on something. So we're going to stick it out and see what it does. We'll uh, upload the pictures when we get some too. Hopefully, we get something on it. Alright guys, here we go. We are now on the way. It's a hot one today guys. Hot out here. Yeah. Well we got water. Hopefully we'll be alright. Should be anyway. Tell the people what we're doing. On our way up here guys, we're gonna go up to uh Bigfoot tree stand. If you guys Watch the past videos, one where it looks like Bigfoot kicked the tree. We're going to put us a scouting camera up there. See what we have coming through there. And we're also going to put one up from one of the permanent stands that we put up. We haven't quite decided on the name for it yet. Bighorn. I guess we're going to go Bighorn. But we're going to we're going to put one up there too with the, what's that one called? The rock. Uh, rack rock. Rack rock. Pretty much the same thing as a trophy rock just made by a different company. And hopefully they come to that. So we'll see you guys once we get a little bit further up in here. We gotta go underneath this electric fence, try not to get shocked. Here looks so up, guys? Well, we're about halfway up the hill. And uh, we're taking us a little break. <laughs> it is muggy and hot today, guys. I mean, it is really hot today. So, well, we're about halfway up, and so far, coming up this logging trail that we just came up, I'll show it to you guys in a minute. But coming up this logging trail here, uh, there's been lots of deer tracks coming up through there. So, with the logging like this, there's a whole bunch of these trees because we're on an angle here going up this hill, and over here to the right of us here, they logged it, and a whole bunch of these trees are falling going downhill, and even right here. And in this little section of the woods that are fun on this way, there's a lot of down trees. And this log control right here where they used to drag the trees out is pretty much like the only clear shot from one section of the woods to the other section where we're heading up to. And 
it's making them kind of funnel. I mean, they don't have to come through here. They can go all the ways, but this is the easiest path. That's the reason why we're taking it. And pretty much a deer's gonna do the same thing as we do. The easiest trail possible is what they're gonna go for, so. But there's a lot of tracks coming in there. Heading up to where we're going up to Bigfoot here. Uh, taking us a little breather, guys. Said it's hot. So I hope you guys got your guys' water. You ain't sweating too bad out there. <laughs> but we're gonna make our way up here in a little bit, guys. We'll show you putting up the uh, cameras and stuff like that. So once we get a little cooled off, we'll head the rest of the way up. We'll see you guys in a minute. And that's the trail I'm talking about here. Bomb Hill's up there. And all these trees, I don't know if you can see that one, how it's kind of laying there, but there's a whole bunch of them on the ground. And there's a big chunk of woods over there coming this way. And this trail right up here is the clearest path to get from that section of woods back to this section. So that's what I was talking about when they come up right there. So, all right, guys, well, moved up a little bit. And, you know, like I was telling you guys, how this logging trail is like the clearest path one right here is a perfect example where there's a hole where you got these this ridge coming down right here with all this thick stuff the ridge coming up with all the thick stuff and right here in the middle is that opening that's what I'm talking about a funnel I don't know if you guys can see it but see that grass trail running right through there uh, definitely using that to get uh, from point A to point B but unfortunately our destination lies up there <laughs> so we're gonna get up it guys well we're gonna try we might not make it nah we'll make it we'll see you guys at the top right, there's the stand guys Whew. still got to climb this I can say one thing man anyone who thinks deer hunting's easy how there's no effort goes into it no fun and games Obviously, you've never done this. And What's up, guys? I almost made it all the way up to the top. Before I get all the way up there, though, I just wanted to show you guys this trail here. It's a really, it's an old logging trail is what it is, but deer tracks out the wazoo coming up here, man. I mean, up, all the way up, up and down. That's one of the reasons why we hung this tree the same way it is. But before I get to the top, Matthew is actually in the tree stand and I just want to give you guys a deer's eye view of Our setup to what they will see Coming up here if they come up here. This is one of the main shooting holes here But I just want to let you see a deer's eye view of Matthew sitting in there You can see him right up there and zoom in a little bit on him Right there Deer's eye view so i tell you one thing, if they come up this hill, they better have their beans in a bag because they might not make it down because this is going to be a deadly, deadly spot right here. Once again, tree stand, Matthew's right over there. I'll point him out to you guys You're right, right there. So we'll get the rest of the way up the hill, get some water, sit down, chill a little bit, and we're going to put a camera right up here. So telling you guys this is what this is this is awesome love being in the woods a lot of green a lot of green our sunflowers if anyone was wondering our sunflowers that we put out and the beets and stuff that we put out they didn't they didn't grow they didn't work well they might have grew or got ate by deer before we had a chance to come back up and check but they're not existing to us so we'll see you guys at the top
All right, guys, that is up. Now, the reason why we put it, I'll get behind it here and kind of show you what it's going to be doing. It's going to be pointing in this direction, right towards that clearing there. Now, the reason why is that's a main trail that comes through there. But not only that, we got a trail that comes up right here, right here. And then we got another one that comes down right here. So we're right in the Y, right in the crossroads. But every single one of these trails, they all end up right here in this flat. We'll end up right there in that clearing. So, like I said, you got the trail coming down here. Got the trail wrapping around the bottom, all coming together. Meet at the Y. Stay in there, guys. Camera there. So, as soon as we get pictures off of this, guys, we'll post them up and let you know, uh, you know, We'll just, for video references, we'll call this camera one. So anytime you see, well, when we mention camera one, big, well, let's just do it this way. When we say these are pictures from the Bigfoot stand, this is where it'd be. It'll be with what I just showed you. And we'll say that in the videos. Now we're gonna go further down around the ridge here and put up the rock and get the other camera out. And we'll see you guys down there in a minute. So like I said, once again, guys, camera is right there. But see this trail going through here. I hope you guys can see it. It's in this tall grass. They got a trail running right through that tall grass that is heavily ran, as you can tell. I don't know. It's kind of hard to make out on here, but it's right there. Kind of does like a little loop. But that's there. They got one coming down. Camera right back there. Tree stand there again, guys. But I just wanted to show you guys this trail. How it runs right here you can see I guess and you can see you can see how they got it packed down there's actually some deer poo right there but you can see this trail runs all the way through here going right around the side there so and that's the direction we're heading yeah that's the direction we're going for the rocks but yeah he did this point this out this is trees. yeah this is how high we came up here and the reason why you know it's like well you guys are whatever pansies stopping halfway up a hill but this is the reason why we stop halfway up a hill oh now let's see if you can see that if you can see this right there that's the horizon of the ridge ways down there but this is how high we're up here so that's the reason why we stop halfway up this thing because literally, like I said, it ain't technically a mountain, but it is my mountain. And it is, oh, it's a walk, guys. I'm telling you that. So we're going to work our way around this ridge. We'll see you guys at the trophy rock. Or not the trophy rock. I keep calling it a trophy rock. It is not a trophy rock. It's, it's a rack rock. It's similar to a trophy rock, just made by a different company. So to get it straight, because I know I referenced it as trophy rock five or six times now. It's a rack rock, not a trophy rock. So we'll see you guys on around here.